Hi Capricorn, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of January 25th, 2021. Thank you guys for joining me. If you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com or find a link to those readings below this video. Also, if this video is resonating with you, there's a link to the extended version of it in the description box below this video. Capricorn, this is a good energy week for you guys. Your um, looks like you're feeling hopeful and you're feeling positive, but there is also a thing there that says you're working on some self-esteem issues as well. I do see a lot of happiness. There are some delays that actually are turn out in your favor. It is a week of good luck and abundance, and as well as a week of working and gaining. Okay. Uh, but there is a warning of being used by someone as well. So let's take a look. Capricorn, your week of the 25th. Nine of Pentacles, financial independence. Things going your way on the financial uh, front. It's also treating yourself is what I'm seeing here. Some of you are treating yourself to something. Next to that is judgment. Now this is a warning. This is a warning of do not listen to rumors and do not pass judgment on someone too quickly because if you do, you're going to be wrong. And we have the Ace of Cups, which represents a new beginning. New beginning is coming in love. Capricorn, with that, I've got the King of Cups. This is like the King of Love. Okay, this is someone who has been through a hard time now on solid ground. Coming in with an unexpected offer of assistance for those of you that is coming in as an unexpected offer of love. Uh, this could also represent a cancer. Now, as we go throughout your reading, if I pick up a sign that may or may not resonate with you, I will share that with you. In the center of your reading, which is the one that kind of radiates around, you have the star. And this is wish fulfillment. Not only is this wish fulfillment, this also says that any delays that occurred this week are actually in your favor, as I stated in the beginning of the video. With that, we have the Page of Swords. Love the Page of Swords energy. Happiness, aloof. You know, look at the old fox. He's out there flying all around. But, you know, it's also a warning of, you know, watch your footing, watch where you're going. This could also represent a Taurus as well. Then we have my favorite card in the deck, Capricorn. This is a chariot. The chariot comes rushing in. The chariot says you get everything you want and desire. And the cool thing about the chariot is you get it when you least expect it. Also letting you know this is going to be a quick moving week for you guys. Right beside that, another major arcana of justice. Justice in your favor. Justice is restoring balance. Okay. This could be a large lease and or purchase. This could also be um, the signing of a legal document. Um... Court case being one or a settlement, something to that effect. I really think it's a signing of a legal document for most of you. Then we end here with the sun. Okay. Of course, the sun shines brightly in all that you do. Not only does the sun shine brightly in all that you do, it brings in new doors opening as well as new opportunities. So let's clarify these cards. Okay. And let's start up here with the first one of the nine of uh, pentacles of the financial independence. Things going your way. This is still Capricorn. We're still looking at your week of January 25th, 2021. Capricorn, I have the two of cups. Happy union. Okay. Uh, this could be very significant for my singles out there. This could be the start of something new. And for my couples, this could be like date night or an outing. That warning of judgment and rumors comes with the Page of Cups unexpected offer. This could be a, just an offer of, expe of um, just an offer in general of assistance. 
And for a lot of you, this is an unexpected offer in love. And I also want to throw out a Pisces may resonate with you guys. Next to that, we have the Ace of Cups, which is a new beginning in love. And look at there. It's the hair font. Why the new beginning in love? Because you, Capricorn, have manifested it. This is the card of manifestation. This is something you have drawn into yourself. With that, the King of Cups. Now, remember with the King of Cups, like I said, this is like the King of Love. This could be an unexpected offer of love. If it is an unexpected offer of assistance, this person has a mouthful to say, okay? With that comes the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles showing a spiritual as well as a financial blessing. And here in the center of the reading with that star and wish fulfillment, wish fulfillment is money in addition to Eight of Pentacles. This is something in addition to your regular pay. This could be a second job. This could be um, small winnings, the sale of an item. For some of you, the sale of a car, a piece of property, something like that. And then we have that Page of Swords where I said it's almost like the full energy. Um, and with that, I've got the Two of Wands. Okay, Two of Wands representing plans being made, future plans. These are travel plans is what I'm seeing. For some of you, this is also going to indicate travel by water. Uh, literally by water, like by boat or cruise. Then we have, of course, that chariot comes in with the Ace of Cups again, driving home that point of what's unexpected. It's a new beginning in love. The Justice card coming in with that Eight of Wands. Okay, this is something you guys may have been expecting, to be quite honest with you. This is total happiness, total contentment. Also showing some love arrows flying all around. And then we have the sun. The sun comes in with the fool. That's two major arcanas together. Love, love, love the energy of the fool. Okay. The fool shows you are happy, go lucky. You're aloof. You're traveling. And this comes right under that travel card of making plans to travel. And everything is going your way. But it's warning of foolish decisions. Don't get so caught up in the happiness that you're not making wise decisions. Because if you notice, if you don't look down, you're going to fall right off that cliff. Okay. So whenever I see the fool reading, I'm going to have to advise no quick or sudden decisions. Slow down and think things through. Then Capricorn, your bonus card, comes out in the center of the reading with the Six of Pentacles on top of that Eight of Pentacles. Okay? And the Star card. Wish fulfillment coming in money. This is perfect balance. This is having enough money to help someone else out financially or deciding if you're going to help them by donating your time. But this is perfect balance in the financial sector. So, so far, Capricorn, we are looking really strong in love and money. If this is resonating with you, please click the link below this video that will take you to the extended reading. And if not, I will see you guys later on in the week and have a good week. Bye.